Hey guys, so uh, I'm gonna go with Limoen or Limian. It's one of the two. Uh, I'm gonna say with Limoen27. Uh, Ask me to do opinions on sleep and opinions on kind of patterns and stuff like that. And it was 2:30 uh, when Limoen wrote the comment, and had to be up at 7:30 for school. And uh, this is something that I can definitely relate to. Uh, it's only 12:30 now, and I, actually I'm gonna close that because Zazuk mentioned that my drawer was open and was like, what? Um, you yeah, know, it's 12.30 now. I've actually, uh, cause I have to wake up early uh, now with a, a proper job. I, uh, I'm trying to go to sleep earlier and something that it's a process. Now, up until this point, I have, I've actually been diagnosed and I've actually been like quite an insomniac. Even when I was in high school, I would go Monday through Friday with about five hours of sleep total. So during the night, I would maybe get an hour of sleep and then kind of went over to college, except, you know, it went into like maybe three or four hours of sleep. Um, even when I was uh, not going to college and I was just working full time, that still was kind of the case. I would get about four hours. But now, you know, I'm 24. I'm not old by any means. Uh, but I do find myself not able to function very well with little sleep. I used to be, able to, I used to be four hours of sleep, but I was fine. I could do it. Now I can't. Um... So I'm trying to force myself into proper sleeping habits, I'm trying to force myself into like at least seven hours, at least six, seven hours of sleep, uh, trying to reach the eight. But the problem is I ran out of time. And so my opinion on sleep is two things. One, you need to do what your body tells you to do. If you can function on four or five hours of sleep, go for it. If you, if you can't, don't do it. So you need to function, you need, you need to do whatever it is that your body tells you that it needs. And you can only really tell this by doing it. Um, if you can go to bed at 3 o'clock and wake up at 8 and be good for the whole day, do that. But if you can't, you need to go to bed earlier. Uh, something that I'm having a hard time adjusting to and having a hard time learning. Um, so that's the first thing. You need to listen to your body. But also you need to find um, find a time that does fit your day. Because like for me, I get home from work and I need to do stuff. So for me, going to bed at 11, even though it would be practical and I would get a lot of sleep, it's not it's not conducive to what I need. I need more time at home outside work. So therefore, for me, 1 o'clock is my bedtime. That leaves me about 7 hours of sleep. To me, that's good. I can function. I can do, I, actually, I can do very well with 7 hours of sleep. So now that it's 12.30, I'm about to upload this and get 7 hours of sleep. And so it's fine. So the two things that I would say for sleep is going to be do what your body tells you. Uh, don't try to push your body in either direction. Don't get too much sleep. Don't get too little sleep. And also you need to find that balance between your body and also the proper amount of time in the day. So there you go. Those are my suggestions uh, because, and on the second point, because like, you know, you don't want to go get like nine hours of sleep but only work and then be home for like three hours before you go to bed. Like you need proper time for yourself in the day. So a balance between the two is what you're looking for. It's hard to find. Um, I'm still trying to find it. So yeah, hope that helps. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wow. that was the worst timed hiccup in the world. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.